Nicholas Island on the coast of Kenya, where we are so lucky to be spending the next couple of weeks. While we're here in Lamu and Shela, which is the other side of the island, we are going to take you on all of our adventures and show you what you can do here, where you can go, what you can eat, and how to spend your time in Lamu. So I know we've only just got to Lamu and this is a bold statement, but Lamu House has to be one of the coolest hotels on the whole of Lamu Island. I can't wait to show you guys this place, it is insane. But before we get to that, we need lunch. Let's go! which is just right next to the main hotel building. The manager describes it as home style food and I guess it kind of is, but it definitely is in the sense that it's really delicious and one of the better restaurants that we found so far here on Miami Island. It's so nice to be back in hot weather. In Nairobi when we left it was rainy and windy and cold, so perfect place for a chill to cook. And another restaurant that we actually really recommend is the place right next door. I don't know the name, but it's the one with the blue, blue windows. It's very obvious, it's literally the one next door. And you just walk in and go upstairs and you can actually sit on the rooftop. We had some curries and it was really good and really cheap. So if you're on a bit of a budget, that would be a good option. So one of the things that I love about Lamu and staying in the old town is that even just walking to lunch is kind of an adventure. The streets are filled with everything. There's donkeys, other one has goats, or there's like a lot of really cute kids running around that are so friendly and always say hi. And the streets are so narrow here and there's so many buildings that it's kind of like a maze. It's pretty easy to get lost in, but after a couple of days you'll know your way around the place. Back. We've just gotten back from lunch, it was delicious, and now we are back at our apartment vlog to give you a tour. First I'll show you the apartment that we're staying in, and then a tour of the rest of the building, which has a really, really awesome pool, chilling lobby area, and rooftop. The little details like there's this cute little seating area and this beautiful pot even a mirror it's just really well decorated um, this is the second and smaller bedroom we don't use it but it's beautiful a more beautiful little seating areas and then this is the master bedroom City, which is kind of part of its charm so when you're in bed at night in the morning all hours of the day there's donkeys that you can hear there's tons of people walking there's the call to prayer that happens several times a day it's a busy city even though it's noisy we kind of like it because it just makes you feel like you're always in the middle of the action even when you're just lying in bed so that's the end of our apartment tour and now we're going to show you what I think is the best part about this to take pictures at every single corner. I mean, this is just in the stairway, walking down to the, the apartment block. It's amazing. You see what I mean? The moment everybody's been waiting for. Check this out.
guys Lamutown since we're staying in Lamutown, but we actually really feel like going on a walk to Shella, which is on the other side of the island. So we're gonna go do that and maybe hang out at the beach down there. So you can either walk to Shella along the water's edge or through the town. I think we'll do a bit of both. The last part of the walk is on the beach. city. These houses in Shella are next level. I didn't expect them all to be this huge and fancy and like wow. Wow. to see here in Shella. I mean, we've been wandering and we just came across a pomegranate tree just on one of those, on the streets. And also this, there's some really great shops here. I'd say there's a better selection of shops here than in Old Lamu Town. Go. So like just between the architecture and just the designs of the houses and the street art, this place is so beautiful and what a cool place to just explore and work around, walk around. Just your typical roadblock here, two donkeys and three cats. Another instance of, are we gonna get kicked by the donkey because we have to walk behind it? Generally scary. Something we've been told we have to do if we visit Shella is to visit the Pony Hotel for a drink, and that's where we are now. Epic views of the um, what is it, the river? There's a boat accident that just happened. But um, epic views of the river, and we're here to get a nice cold beer and a cold juice, and just chill for a little bit. 